Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to install Kali Linux on Windows. So let's go. Alright, first of all, install VMware Workstation Pro, which is a virtual machine that allows us to install different operating systems and also download Kali Linux. Of you can download Kali Linux from Kali.org and VMware from VMware.com. Run VMware and from the file tab, select new virtual machine. So this window will pop up, which may be a little bit different depending on your VMware version. Here, choose custom option. Okay, click next. Choose later, we will give the ISO file at the end. Here we need to specify what are we going to install. So choose Linux and from this list look for Debian 1064 bit. Click next, name your virtual machine and specify a location for it. Here choose the number of processors and cores you want to let the virtual machine have access to. And how much RAM which is 2 GB recommended. Click next, 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 next. Give it some storage. And also make sure to select a store virtual disk as a single file option. Hit next and we are almost done with the virtual machine. Go to customize hardware and from display options check 3D graphics. And after that from new CD slash DVD select use ISO image file and specify the ISO file that you have downloaded. Alright, that's it. Click the finish button and now let's run the virtual machine we've just created. Choose graphical install and hit enter. Choose your language. Select your location and your keyboard as well. Your host name and domain is not that important, just click continue, enter your full name and then just give it your username, choose a password for your operating system ok configure your time zone So in this step we are going to choose the entire disk cause we are on a virtual machine and don't worry nothing would happen to your other files. Continue. And now again click continue to finish partitioning and start writing changes to the disk. Here it says these changes will happen just say yes and continue. Okay, these are some options you can choose, but I suggest you just go with the default ones, which means XFC desktop environment, collection of tools, recommended tools, and top 10 popular tools. You'll be installed other tools later, by the way. Just say yes, we want to install Grub Bootloader and here choose the second option, dev slash sda. And now wait until you see the Kali logo. And here we go, click on I'm finished installing and that's it. Okay, we've successfully installed Kali Linux on a virtual machine and we can have fun with it. Thanks for watching my video, don't forget to subscribe and I see you on the next video, bye.